Here we are, we've got a bunch of packets I just captured, and there's uh, 26,000 of them. I'd like to show you how to start looking at these packets and try to get through them a little quicker. In this example, let's do the basic uh, requirements people are going to ask you for, and that's, hey, you've got a bunch of packets there. Who's the top talker? What's the top application? What's the easiest way to do that? Well, if we go to Statistics and I.O. Graphs, you will see drag this guy back over there is the total number of packets per tick which is seconds so packets per second so we can see the packets per second now most people this doesn't mean too much so we're going to change this to bits per tick so now we've got bits per second so you can see there's a little hump there and there's a hump there and there's a big spike there and the only thing I wish there was was just a comma in here just to make this a little easier to read because you always have to go one two three one two three and you have to try to figure out you know how many megabits per second that is other than that it's it's not that bad so I'm just gonna make this a little bigger for you there we go if you'd like to stretch this out a little bit as far as data points go you can always change the pixels per tick and we'll change this to 10 and there you go so it's kinda of spread out a little bit it's like the resolution more, more of a visual resolution than a, a data resolution so there's all my spikes and you're going to start to wonder, well, what are these spikes? So, for example, this big guy here. If I just go and click on him, click, and I come back to the background, you'll see that this is TCP data over port 445. Uh, for the people who, who know, that's, that's obviously SMB, server message block. Uh, but what I'd like to do at that point is you can come over here and do a manual filter, tcp.port double equals and 445 and when you press the red graph 2 button you'll see this thing just goes ahead and it updates this um, you'll see the red line See? now sometimes the red line is the same as the black line so it's a little hard on the eyes if you just turn off graph 1 by just toggling it you'll see there's the red Okay. so I'm gonna just put the the black back on there the total because I wanna find the other spike so we, we dealt with this one you can see here there's a red on the bottom nothing here and we can I don't know what this one is. Let's find out. Click the big huge spike. And again, 445, which is, you know what? I think that's what I started with. <laughs> so let me try clicking this guy. And sure enough, this one is port 80. So we can do the same thing. So we can do a tcp.port 80. There's quicker ways to do this, but I'm just doing this longhand just so you get a better appreciation of how to do it. And now again, it's kind of hard to read with that black line overlapping everything. So I'm going to turn off the black line, and you can see there's my green, which maps to port 80. There's my red, which maps to SMB. So that's one quick way of doing it. Now, other than the actual protocol, you might want to know who is doing this. So let's go through the same exercise again. I'm going to turn off graph 2, turn off graph 3, and turn back on graph 1, which is the total. I'm going to come down to the blue line this time, and we're going to put... Uh, the top talkers or who's sending the data so again I'm just gonna move this guy down for a second and click on the background and we're going to pick this guy for example and we're gonna right click and copy as filter that's it that's all I'm gonna do if I come back to my IO graph I can just simply right click and paste and hit the graph 4 so there it is graph 4 is being drawn out and now I can see the overlap with the blue see so now this black is outstanding. So again, I can just click on that, drag that guy down just a bit, right click on him, copy, as filter, come back over here, right click, paste, and graph 5. And give it a moment for this thing to draw, and turn off graph 1. So now we can see the blue was this guy, and the pink was this guy. So there you go. We can use the I.O. graphs and we can either take a look at it from a protocol perspective or from a user's perspective. And there's many other ways to do this, but this is a quick and easy way. And I love the fact that you can just click on any old, any old peak and in the background, you'll see that it jumps around. So as you click around, see, you don't have to try to note the time and all that nonsense. Hope that helps. Enjoy.